Alrighty, what's popping YouTube? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys my top three methods that I use to fix lag on the Yuzu emulator. As you guys may know, if you've been watching my past Yuzu videos, I've been figuring out multiple ways how to improve your performance while you're playing the Yuzu emulator on your PC. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel to keep up to date with the latest emulation tutorial news or anything about modern emulation in general make sure you guys subscribe if you guys new to the channel without further ado let's get right into it so i'm gonna show you guys the top three methods that i use to fix lag on the yuzu emulator and one of the methods i use is using the early access build so as you guys may know or may not know if you guys subscribe to this patreon on the yuzu emulator um um website they give you access to they give you early access to certain features that they're about to put on in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months on their mainline user build. So stuff like multi-core, some and a new feature they added is called the ARB feature. Um and that basically helps you with certain games like Super Smash Bros. and games that like that use a lot of this shader cast, like say for example Super Smash Bros. That game uses a lot of this shader cast, so the ARB feature usually helps fix lag in certain games like that. So I'm going to go over what basically how these things look on the configuration settings. As you guys know, may know, if you go to the general settings and go down to enable multi-core, and as soon as you enable multi-core, make sure it's at 100%. And if it's at 100%, the multi-core feature is enabled. That basically speeds up your process when you're playing certain games. And also, as you guys may, may know, as soon as you go to the advanced tab, you can enable the ARB features, which is right here, which is, like I said before, are really good for fixing certain lag, game, like um, game lags, like in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And when using the ARB feature, I think it's best to put it on high. And you can use Astro Flickering time 16. That helps with lag too. So, like I said, it's. Over the past few, I'll say months, the Yuzu emulator has been helping certain ways to improve performance, game speed, fix lag, like stuff like that when you're playing certain games on the emulator. So it's really, it's really helpful. Like if you compare a few months back when you couldn't have, you couldn't do nothing. Like you couldn't do much on the configuration settings to improve your performance. You just need to have a really good PC in general. But now adding these certain features, it helps improve performance no matter what pc build you have like yeah you still need a strong pc but having these features help for people who are on the lower end side or at the medium end side of when they're on their pc playing games on the user emulator so yeah all right second thing i like to use is messing around with my nvidia tab this is probably not too popular due to the fact that certain people don't know how to configure it correctly i for one do and it helps my performance greatly like you guys wouldn't understand so as you guys may know or may not know if you watch my channel a lot i you i refer to the video control panel a lot when it comes to performance speed anything in general to try to improve anything on the user layer. fps like i said the, the video control panel helps a lot so if you watch my previous videos you already know how this thing basically works on the user emulator and also Something you guys may not know is using the 60 FPS mod is another way to help um, fix lag on the Yuzu emulator due to the fact that it's increasing your frame rate. So, like for lag, won't be much of a problem. So certain games won't get locked at a certain frame rate. It can go past the frame rate if your PC is strong enough for that. Um, so the 60 FPS mod really helps with that. And this over the past few months, I believe. When this mod came out, it helps performance a lot on the user MSO. It's, it's really helpful, the 60 FPS mod. So, yeah, that's basically about it. Those are the top three things that I use to fix a lag overall on the user emulator. So, if you guys need um, a link to the 60 FPS mod, I'll always leave in the description down below. Like I said, the early access build, using your NVIDIA graphics card, and also 
using the 60 FPS mod are the top three ways to fix a lag on the use of emulator. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, please feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. So yeah, guys, see you guys in the next one.